Before we get started with this video, I just wanted to make a public profession and say that I am very sorry and that my heart goes out to those who have been affected by the Vegas shooting. I know on my channel, I uh, usually have a very just positive and funny attitude, but I want to take a serious moment and say that it's a very sad day because of what happened. And at the end of the day, there's really not much you can say to this. I'm not trying to make a response video to get a bunch of views. I think the best thing that we can take out of this is um, we need to realize that we do live in an evil world. Now, it's not okay that people are evil, but we should live vigilantly and understand that anything can happen at any time. No matter where you live, no matter who you are, no matter what time it is, the thing I want to kind of highlight out of this is make the most out of your day seize the day do not take life for granted i know you hear it a lot i know it's really easy to say especially in hindsight but don't spend your days envying and being jealous of somebody else you have your own life to live contact your families be thankful for them today realize that it's by grace you woke up this morning and realize every day every waking moment you have is a blessing and you should use that to not only better yourself but to better the world around you. It's not that hard. You just need a positive attitude and good motives and you need to love others. On to the regular program. Let's try and turn this into a positive. That's what I like to do. Got a lot to work on, boys. Got some fun stuff coming. I come in here and TJ is just parked hard. Right here, middle of the freaking garage. TJ, if you're watching this right now, don't get mad at me. Literally gonna move this like two feet. All right, let's hope I don't smoke myself out. Do I know how to drive an automatic? I don't know. It doesn't even turn on, what the heck? Is it dead? I guess um, daddy's not moving his car today. Never mind, TJ, your car's staying right here. I just figured out that my steering wheel, I can no longer modify the position of my... Wait, what? Dog, what? That doesn't make any sense. Hold up. Now that the key is off, I can adjust the steering wheel. When the key is on, I cannot? I can't. That literally makes no sense. I, this doesn't work anymore. My, my gauges don't work anymore. My cluster does not work. I'm so confused right now. I'm so confused. How in the world do I freaking, okay. Do this, there we go. I can, I can like change it right now, right here, right? If I turn it like on, nothing. And my gauges don't light up anymore. I still have like, airbag is on. Some lights. Some lights are on, but like, something got disconnected around here that was not supposed to be disconnected. So we might have to go back through and reconnect this little deal and figure the rest of it out. But there's just so many wires that we just kind of like tried to get rid of the other day when we got this car. Okay, I'm just gonna take these and plug them all back in and see what happens. The good news is we've still got a hazard button. <laughs> Gotta put that somewhere. I don't know what's going on. Like all of these are male. Every single one of these plugs are male and I don't have any other harnesses in this car to like start plugging into, oh. Oh, rip, okay. Okay, so I plugged in this box fully now. Let's see if that has anything to do with it. Dude, why? Nothing, I'm getting nothing. I am not sure. Like I turn it back on though. Nothing, back off, go to the clock. I don't know. I mean, my gauges are working, I just have no lights, and I don't remember unplugging anything like this. Dude, I'm so tripped out, I'm so tripped out right now. What even needs to be used back, like there's nothing, that's probably going to like rear speakers or something, I don't even know. None of these are essential. Something I unplugged at some point has reset something, 
and that sounds really, really repetitive and kind of stupid, but that's all we know right now. That's all we know. I'm thinking about it to like really truly gut this car. What we need to do is I need to take the dash out and not only take all the like unnecessary um, harnesses and stuff that I don't need, but I need to take my whole AC unit out from behind the dash because this car will never have AC again. I'm not definitely not going to do that today because I have a lot of other stuff I need to do but that's something we definitely have that's on the checklist, especially before I get the uh, the car caged. They're probably gonna have to take the dash out anyways, and that does not look fun. Ooh, what if we flocked it? We could flock oh, this dash. Flock it. Flock, dude. What the flock? There was one cord that we pulled out because we were like, what the heck is this? It's still down there. It might be a ground. Really? Yeah. I was actually, so I just had the epiphany that it might be a ground cable. We might have yanked out a ground. Today, we're gonna we're gonna say goodbye to something that's very very dear to all of us. What is this freaking? There's a little freaking button here. What in the world is all of this? We must have just like really yeeted something out of here. What is this? I don't even know what this is, dude. It's like freaking. Well, we've been digging for a while trying to figure life out over here, and it's not seeming to go in our favor. So we're gonna pause this part of the day. Uh, the main thing today, and this is very sad. First sad day. We have to rip out the beloved headliner. My mom's gonna have a fit. Your mom's not gonna like this. Yep. Your mom loves my headliner. She loves it. So sorry that I'm having to take this off today. I feel like we worked so hard on this. Let me know guys, comment on this video. What do you, I made pants out of my last headliner. What should I do this time? Should I make undies? It's a tank top, oh my God. Comment in the video it right now. would probably be a crop top. Just a good belly dance. The reason for that, we're gonna have to take this off today. Uh, I want to gut the sunroof. And anybody who drifts these cars, you, you have to take them out. Like you have to take them out if you wanna actually slide the car weight because it's reduction. so much weight. It's not even weight reduction, but it's like the, the displacement, like where the weight is transferred, how the weight is transferred. It's so bad to have a stock sunroof on these drift cars. So we're gonna not take the sunroof out today, but we're gonna try and get as much of the assembly out as possible. Start getting it out of here. Goodbye, Bikini Bottom. Okay. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Absorbent and yellow and porridge. Por porridge. 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 Is SpongeBob porridge. porridge? Hey man, if anybody wants a light thingy for a Lexus that doesn't work, I got you, dog. You got some nice, nice new, nice, nice new LEDs in there, dude. <laughs> for the grand finale. That time. Oh yeah, it's time for sleep. Gah. You won't do it. I've been training with you. You won't do it. You gotta hurry up, because I gotta poop. I gotta poop really bad, and I'm about to do it right here. Oi, <laughs> hey, hey. No, 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 you need a good solid yank, not just, oh, just not it. continuous pressure. There you go, like that. Freaking, oh, I'm dead. Ow. Now, getting this thing in and out of the car was also a nightmare. Like, you have, oh. Oh God! Woo! Get out of here, brother! Oh, dis dis what are you doing? Straight disrespected at what? What do you mean? What am I doing? What are you breaking over there? I don't know what I'm breaking. So now this has to come out. This is oh, that's easy. Heavy, dog. I bet that would be heavy. It's gonna be he very heavy, and I got finally I'm gonna say goodbye to the final piece of sequin in the car. No more pink headliner. Forever. I'm gonna need you to hold it up, or I'll hold it up, and you can do it. Okay. I have some. You, you got it. All right. Okay. Let's see if we can do this before Victoria gets back from pooping. Oh! Oh God! Okay, it's gonna start coming down. Oh! oh. Here we go, Dad. I thought I could do it before you got done pooping. They, they ah! come. Ah! Here we go. Good? Good. Woo! All right, I, got, I got it, I got it, I got it. Can yeah. get out? Yeah. Without shattering glass everywhere? Yeah. You can use that. Oh, it's so heavy. No wonder everybody says to get this thing out of your car. It's so heavy, dude. Now I don't have a sunroof. <laughs>
Look at it. Look at it. Um. Um. Do we just put like a trash bag? This is crazy. Um, we definitely need to get like a. Uh, some kind of, I actually would love to get a fiberglass insert to go right there. I don't need whatever these hoses are that are connected. Wait, what? Hold on a second. Oh. It's attacking you. It's a snake. I found it in the car. This just. This car's got worms, dude. Oh, that's what it was. I had the this most disgusting dream last night. What? It was like creepy. Oh, I had this. No. All right. Why? What was your dream? I'm not gonna say. Why are you? You can't say that and just be like, I can't tell you what my dream I was. I had like worms in my eyes, and I pulled it out, and I had a hole, and then once I pulled the whole worm out, it closed up. But then there were like three more on each eye. It was so gross. I think I, I think I just I need you to hold it up for me one last time. The boys, the boys need it. Sad. Rib, dude. It was a good run. It was a good run. Shout out to my boys at Hobby Lobby for having really crazy, stupid fabric. <laughs> always for sale. Now you don't. Now you get in here and it's just like, oh hey, it's just a race car. Are you trying to emulate somebody stealing my car? This is what's gonna happen. Oh my god. I hope this holds me. Huh? <laughs> oh, somebody's just gonna come. Yeah. There you go. We're doomed. We're done Sup. for. Sup, yeah. Sup, <laughs> let me steal your car. Bro, that's a big hole. That's a big hole up there. Are you taking hole? That's a big hole. A big hole or hoe? That's a big hole. I actually, this is going to be kind of cool. Um, I have Oxbeam headlights in right now. And I actually thought it'd be really cool to do a video of, not a video, but just a short segment comparing HID headlights like me and I'm sure a lot of you guys are the same most cars headlights are extremely ugly from factory And it's really awesome when you put like nice blue or white HID headlights I think my biggest issue like when I was in high school I had uh, I had HIDs on like every car I owned like my least favorite part about them was Installing them because like you have to have this ballast and it's just like it's a nightmare So what I did is I actually have two sets of I wanted to show you guys the difference of like the, I guess the comparing new, like new generation LED headlights versus old HID headlights. I'm not going to install the old HIDs because I hate installing them because they're pain. I don't even know what brand these are and it quite frankly doesn't matter. Here's what happens when you get an HID. You get this freaking bulb, right? That's ugly. And then you get Cute. a super ugly wire and then it plugs into one thing, plugs into another thing, plugs into another thing, plugs into another thing. And then you have this disgusting ballast that you have to somehow like, plug somewhere into your motor. It's awful, it sucks. It's actually kind of a nice box, but like, I don't know, it's just, that's just so much for a headlight. And I figured out that um, there actually are as a such thing as an LED headlight now. And I've been actually running them in my Lexus for quite a while, and I love them, they're just as powerful, but like, look at this. That's it. That's it, just plug it into your headlight. It's a, literally a plug and play thing. Like this. This has got a little bit better. I don't know, it's just, it's a little nicer. So I'm gonna install these, get the new headlights in. And I actually have some more dress up stuff for the engine today as well. So these lights right now are the current LED headlights. And like, they look, they literally, wow, that's just <laughs> nice. So these are the old ones. They're still pretty sick, but I'm just gonna go ahead and install the new ones today because that's just really, really easy. And by the way, I'm not plugging just aux beam. These can just be found, like Oxbeam has an Amazon store, like you just go to the Oxbeam Amazon or whatever like that. Um, I'll link them in the description. I think that they're awesome. So easy. Literally just like, that's it. That's all I needed to do was plug that in and boom. Now go ahead and turn that one on. I want to see if it's any different than the old ones. Oh, but purple. Oh, what? That's kind of crazy. All right, that's it. And then um, I think, uh, Dressupbolts.com actually ended up sending me some goodies for my engine bay. These are some dress up bolts. I actually lost all of my, not all of mine, but I lost most of the coil pack cover. And they have a bunch of just different colors and they just sent me neochrome just to be fancy and flashy. Ooh. This just some old, gross, yeah. nasty little bolts. Ooh. Ah. 
You like him? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> ah. That's much nicer. Actually, that I was kind of skeptical with how the, the burnt aluminum would look, but um, it looks nice. Thanks, dress up bolts. You guys are the, you guys are the dudes. Hooking it up. Make the D&D look a little nicer. Thanks, guys. The day was cut a little short last time I drove the car. And last time I was here working on the car, so I actually want to, um... Oh, what the heck. We killed the battery. And we can't start the car. <laughs> Sick, dude. Sick. We're gonna get the Jeep around here. We're gonna jump start this car. How do I get out of this? Okay, this is... I would really like to get indoor inserts. Like some companies actually make gutted like aluminum inserts for this. That would be really nice. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Dude, it's so hard to push. And right, this is really sketchy. I'm just gonna push the car and then jump in there. <clears throat> and then just rip the, oh my God, it's so heavy, dude. Oh, this car is a whale. Ugh. <sighs> Driving this thing, I haven't driven this thing. It's gotta be at least a week or so. I wanna see how loud she is. I think she's gonna be a little loud. So what's your assessment? You know, it's actually not too bad. Uh -uh. It's pretty loud, like it's a little loud. It was already loud before, but like, it's not as bad as I thought. When you have some stuff rattling, because you have nothing like holding it in, Face it, like we, all we've done is taken stuff out. We really haven't secured anything. Nothing's really in its place yet. So it's gonna be a little loud and janky and rattly for a little while, but once we get it figured out and dialed in, it'll be awesome. happened in the past I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and re-bolt this back up just with a few bolts just so nobody tries and gets in my car somebody already stole pieces out of my hood at one point in time the last thing I want is somebody to steal my car because I worked very hard to get to this point we're gonna go ahead and patch this back up <laughs> which sucks because it's so heavy dude the best is when you're in like a little parking garage and you have a loud car it makes so much noise dude Oh, am I gonna rev it? I wanna be able to shop here again. Do I like cars, Victoria? Yeah, so guess what the answer is gonna be? I'm gonna rev it. Um, rip to everyone's ears who's in here right now. I wish you guys could actually tell how loud this is, but. Ooh. Ooh, let's get out of here. Hey man, we got, I, got, I got your motor, dude. I got your, I got your freaking motor, dude. Sick. Good old Mark III's, man. Another day down with the Lexus. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get this edited, and I'm gonna start streaming on, on Twitch. So if you guys don't follow me on here, make sure you follow me on Twitch TV slash Evan Shanks. I'll put it in the description for you guys. And uh, let's have some fun. I've been having a lot of fun with you guys lately, and I really appreciate your donations or your tips or whatever you want to call them, and because it's really been helping me improve my setup and improve your experience with it as well. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out and be victorious. So much to do on the Lexus. I'm so excited to get this stuff done. Make sure you click on one of those two videos right in front of your face. Go on, dude. I'm on shoe, bro. Shoe. Pick up videos, bro. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, dude.